guys my name is tyra r welcome to my channel if you are new here welcome if you are a returning subscriber thank you for coming back and viewing my next video today i will be showing you guys how i created my nursing school binder covers to make these covers you do not have to be in nursing school you can use this in high school college middle school or just use it as a simple way to stay organized while you guys are going through school but I use this method to simply create a binder cover for each subject or course that I am taking while in nursing school. So to complete your binder cover, you will need a binder, scrapbook paper, construction paper, scissors, a pencil, tape, and a ruler. So step one, you take whatever scrapbook paper you would like. I chose this one today. And you measure it to your binder. So I'm gonna flip it over. I am then going to take my ruler and pencil. Line it up with the edge of the binder. And I'm gonna draw a straight line. Make sure it's dark enough so you can see where you need to trim. The next step is taking your scissors and cutting along the line that you just drew. You can just throw the excess paper away. So, I am then going to take the scrapbook paper and make sure that it definitely fits inside of the covering. Just in case I need to trim some more. So this is why you do that. I did not cut enough, so I'm going to trim a little bit more. Now, when you stand your binder up, you're gonna realize that there's extra on the top of the scrapbook paper. You can either trim it. I'm not really concerned about it, so I just fold mine and tuck it. then fold it backwards and tuck it down so now it fits perfectly your next step would be to then take your construction paper and you can cut this to any size that you would like I like to cut my construction paper a few inches so that I can place a label here and on the label, I put the course that I'm in and my first and last name, just so if I forget my binder somewhere, they know who to return it to. Or if I just simply want to grab the correct binder that day before class, I know which binder to grab. So I already pre-cut my label, just a few inches. I am then now going to use my tape So once you are done, you can type out whatever course you are in, put your first and last name, and then this is the front of your binder cover. 
I'm going to show you a completed binder cover from last semester when I was taking pharmacology. This is how your binder sh cover should look when you have completed it. Just so you guys can get an idea of how it looks. So for each semester, I will be making binder covers for each course that I'm in. If you guys would like to see a video on how I organize the inside of my binders for each semester, please let me know in the comment box below. I also want to remind you guys to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will be back with another video very soon. Thank you for tuning in.